Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope all of you are doing good. This is me, your girl Shamima, popping on YouTube. <laughs> Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope all of you are doing good. This is me, Shamima Shadahan, popping on YouTube after quite some time. Okay, where do I start? First and foremost, I think I owe an explanation as to why I went missing. And the main reason is because I feel I find a sense of burnout, which is why if you had watched my previous videos, you'll find that this video is very different because it is less polished and it's me just showing up as myself without forcing myself to strictly stick to a script. Anyway, that being said, let me dive right into the topic. Today, I want to talk to you about this controversial movie, Mulan. Mulan was not only one of the biggest movies that got released after this big time lockdown pandemic, but it has raised the brows or raised concerns. I think that's a better way to put it. Raised concerns for many people because towards the end of the movie, in their credits section, they give special thanks to several committees in China. While this is not problematic, what really concerns people and troubles them is the fact that it has been shot in Xinjiang province. And for those of you who do not know, it is in this region where about a million Uyghur Muslims are held captive in concentration camps and basically brainwashed. While the problem is not specifically to do with the movie or the plot or the content of it, we as Muslims, or if you are someone, anyone who stands up for justice and humanity, anyone who is troubled by abuse against humanity, then I highly suggest that we do not go ahead, go to theaters and watch this movie because we will be adding to the profit it's kind of making them realize that we are not okay with it and we are not taking it. And the second thing that I wanted to mention is I am aware that some people will be wondering, okay, take a chill pill, what's the big deal? The very fact that we are thinking that this is not a big deal, we are just being a bit overboard by talking against a movie being shot in a particular region is the big deal because they want us to desensitize and brush past this huge current day holocaust that is happening if you were not okay about that happening in the past this is happening in the present and you are going to be a part of the history of the future you get what i mean so you have to ask yourself what are you doing to stand against this humanitarian crisis and the second thing that i'm hoping to convey in this video is to make you realize that there are hidden propagandas all around us whether you realize it or not it may be in statements or trends brought about by celebrities in the movies that you watch even if they seemingly look innocent obviously the music industry in advertisements you know it's all around us which is why it is important for us to have this sense of wokeness so we are not brainwashed and we do not become one of the herd what the media wants us to become is to develop a herd mentality where we are running behind trends and running behind the hot topic without taking a moment to think to ourselves if the way we are reacting is necessarily strategic is what we are doing really going to make a difference and in one of my recent podcast episodes i spoke about this black lives movement how so many actions were given highlight like painting the words black lives matter on a road while that did not specifically solve the problem it did not make a change to the system what ends up happening is that on the headline on the surface we have a topic that's becoming viral that's becoming trending and everyone's talking about it and in the background there are actions being taken 
that is strengthening the system further initiations and actions being taken very discreetly that is further strengthening this problematic parasitic system and we need to become aware of it moving on you must be wondering what is the big deal about these huge trends why is it important for me as an individual to wake up and speak against it can i just be do i necessarily have to become this sort of an activist i just want to be moderate i just want to be me without having to put my head into all these issues and stress myself out i understand sometimes you would want to break from all this chaotic news and this was really evident when the hashtag black lives movement was the trending topic because right now everyone's talking about mulan but it was not long ago people were talking about black lives matter and before that we were talking about the coronavirus pandemic and vaccines before that we were talking about something else you see one topic after the other is becoming viral and being spoken about but unfortunately there's no real action taken to close a topic it's just that sprinkle a bit of awareness and then move on sprinkle a bit of awareness and then move on it's not really bringing about a change and this is what's frustrating because there are some people who are still affected by us not speaking up we have a responsibility as a human being especially as believers because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses us as khalifa and khalifa specifically that word in arabic refers to something that comes in generation so our action or inaction today is going to affect the future it's going to affect the future generation so to put it in a nutshell we really do not have a choice but to live more mindfully to use our voice to make this world a better place for the future generation and all the people who are suffering during the current times and like i was saying before one of the thing i want to bring to awareness is the fact that there are propagandas bombarded at you almost all the time and you need to be aware of this whenever you see something on the headline you have to see what is the intent behind this you know we should not become puppets of the influential people who wants to divide us who wants to spread hatred and really keep us in a state of fear so they can feed off our fear and really upgrade their authority and power over us do you get what i'm trying to say the reason i'm saying this is because even the people in slight concentration camps are forced to believe that they are actually not held as prisoners but whatever is being done to them is for their own good let me quickly post a section of a bbc interview right here is it your choice to be 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 here Uh, did you see that and the interviewer or the reporter he said himself that to mention the gist of it i do not know what these people were taught to tell prior to us making this interview and in a psychological perspective this clearly shows that this person has been taught to say these things because if you think about it everyone does actions thinking that they are right even if they are terrorists terrorists do not say we are terrorizing they say we are just correcting the world holding these extremist views do you get what i'm trying to say nobody does something thinking they are wrong and by default people are not those who say okay my mind's messed up and i am being corrected it's just not normal and if you think this is absurd you have to watch this part of the interview they've been convicted of no crime faced no trial but we're told 
China now believes it can determine their guilt in advance. Some people who have not killed people, but they have already shown a certain character. Very likely, this person will be killed in a few weeks. So, we are waiting for him to be arrested after the crime, or is it best to be arrested before the crime is committed? Doesn't make sense, does it? The second point I want to share about is about the content of the movie itself, because I actually had some individuals who told me that this movie is heavily promoting the feminist mentality. Whether or not I agree with it is a different point, but I want to tie my point number one with the point number two that I'm going to present today. But before I move ahead, I have a question for you. Do you really think that everyone gets a fair opportunity to reach their true potential, especially being women? If you said yes, then I don't know. You may be living under a rock, making certain topics viral, like this extreme feminist movements, like. Some women just going around naked on the road and telling everyone to become naked and call it empowerment, or even calling people to take off their hijab, basically forcefully take off their hijab because they don't want to oppress you. I mean, it's all messed up, right? What happens is we become desensitized to really addressing the real issue. The real issue here is not about the hijab. The real issue is people being stopped from reaching their true potential simply based off of their gender. While you might think this is not a problem, especially in Islam, whenever we bring about the topic of hijab and women empowerment, uh, Muslims are the first to say, you know, Islam empowers women. It's not about oppression. Um, Islam gave women rights even before women could vote. And oh, sadly, when it comes to action, there still seems to be a problem because I personally have dealt with a lot of women who are stopped from reaching their potential, who are stopped from doing the things that they want to do, even if it is Islamically correct, because they are told that by doing that, whatever it is, action, they will fail to become a good muslima or even become a source of fitna if you are not aware of it honestly you must be really lucky because there are a lot of women who are in fact in reality being oppressed by being fed culture in the name of religion and we need to become aware of it Inshallah, I will be speaking more about it in my next video, which will be posted next week, Inshallah. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. And let me know your thoughts on my last question in the comments below, because I feel it's important for us to talk more about it. Do you agree with my statement when I say that women are not given an equal opportunity to reach their true potential by being fed culture in the name of religion let me know what you think about it because i'm really excited to start this conversation because i feel this is something that everyone needs to become more aware of catch you soon assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh